All right, guys, went well, back today with a massive EDC knife deal alert video, and I'm really excited about this one because out of these knives, I've picked one of my favorite high value and budget EDC knives of 2022 under 25 bucks. All of these knives actually come from F and Grow, and as I see new knives be released, and as F and Grow produces more knives, they let me know. I actually started buying these way before they contacted me and started dropping them in some of the Friday deal alert videos. I would pick my favorite ones, buy them, try them out, and really post full reviews on my 704 Gear YouTube channel. So I have a second channel dedicated to gear review, knife reviews, camping, things like that. Definitely check out that channel and subscribe to that. If something ever happens to the main channel, that's where I'm going to go. I'd really appreciate your support over there. But when I started doing that, F and Grow actually watched some of my videos and said, hey, we'll send you some knives. It's been great because I still just review them as I like, and I'm going to tell you my favorite out of this lot. We're actually going to start with my favorite, and that is the F and Grow EF926. This one comes with a D2 steel blade, a G10 handle, and it is made insanely well. And the best thing is, is it comes in at $25, but it's got a clickable 5% off code. Excuse my hands, I've been painting today and stopped to actually make this video before they would sell out. Now, once I got my hands on this knife, I knew why they were selling so quickly. The attention to detail is absolutely spectacular and you can see the orange inlay is very nice now they make this in a green handled version as well as a black handled version but the green handled version is about to sell out so i'm showing you guys the black handle version the g10 is machined absolutely perfectly and all the edges are deburred and chamfered so it's smooth in your hand it also has nice attention to detail around some of the pivot points and again on the liner in the back where you can put your lanyard hole through now it locks up rock solid. I mean, there is absolutely no blade play. And when I say no blade play, I mean, it truly feels like a fixed blade knife when you flip it open and you can see the lockup is absolutely solid. Now, these are solid liners, not skeletonized liners. So it is a heavy duty knife, but not overly heavy. It's perfect to carry in your pocket every single day. This one also has a fairly deep carry pocket clip. So it's nice. So it's going to slide in. The little flipper on that guy just actuates so nicely. You can either flip it from the top or kind of do a press flip like I do, and it feels like an assisted opening knife because it rides on a ball bearing system and it's absolutely perfect. I'm spending a little bit extra time on this knife because absolutely, again, one of my favorite go-to EDC knives under $25. This will sell out fast and it's honestly the main reason why I'm doing this video now. All the linking will be in the description below and these are Amazon affiliate links. So if you decide to click them, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. The next knife I wanna talk about is also the F and, or from F and Grow, it's the EF86. Again, D2 steel blade. This one also has a G10 grip, and you can see the grips are nice, but they're not quite as nicely finished as the other knife. Now, don't get me wrong, I still really like it, but you can see why this one is my favorite. It's just so elegant. But right out of the box, it's a flat grind design, and it's more of a cleaver style. Um, it's an interesting knife because it is incredibly small so this is perfect for flipping open opening boxes packages things like that it's ultra lightweight compared to some of the other ones i'm going to show you and this one comes in at 20 dollars with the clickable five percent off code everything i'm going to talk about today has the five percent off code so i really want you guys to take advantage of that if you were thinking about maybe grabbing an edc knife now would be a good time Overall, this is a solid knife option for under $20, right at about 19 bucks. And you can see how micro small it is. So for you guys who aren't looking for larger knives, that's going to be a great option. Now, moving along to two options that I don't normally review or take a look at, they're actually micarta handles. So when you're talking about a lot of these premium materials like G10 handles, micarta handles, D2 steel blades, you're actually talking about a knife that's generally costing $60 to $70 minimum. And everything you see here on the table is under $30 and that's why I've been featuring them so hard lately because they are a solid knife option. Now the first one I want to discuss is the EF972 and that is a more of a stainless steel look and a light stone wash finish on the blade with the micarta handles and you can see just that attention to detail in those handles. It also has kind of an anodized blue or a coated blue on that hardware. These liners are actually skeletonized to reduce weight a little bit, but this has a solid 
thick blade with good blade centering. It flips open really nicely, it locks up solid, and overall this is a great knife option, but one of the complaints I have, it's a little bit thick, um, but it carries just fine with that deep carry pocket, pocket clip, no issues whatsoever. And there are two different versions. You've got this micarta and then that micarta, the black and the kind of like that greenish brown. So you can see the differences right there. I wanted to show you both of those. But again, the blade lockup is absolutely solid on those guys and they're very good knives. But I just absolutely love this guy right here. Like these are awesome, but I just keep going back. Man, this is a solid knife. Um, the next one is actually one number up in the lineup, which is the EF973, and they're almost identical, but there are some subtle differences. This one's slightly larger. It's got a stonewash darkened finish. The micarta is different colors, and the clips are a little different. I do like these a little bit better looks-wise, um, and the micarta, again, you have two different options right here that you can look at, the brown and the green, and I do love both of these knives. They flip open solid. Um, they lock up absolutely solid, and man, they are just rock solid knives, the good feeling knives. And I just can't get over the attention to detail on something that is sub $30 with the materials that they're using uh, in these knives. So I'm definitely a big fan of them. Also guys, I'll be continuing to do reviews on these. So if you go on Amazon and you see an F and Grow knife uh, and it looks interesting to you, please leave that in the comment section below. Reach out to me on Instagram, my 704 Gear Facebook page. My 704 Gear Facebook page is constantly posting deals. So you'll definitely wanna check that out, but you can reach out to me and message me on Instagram and I'll try to get one out to the channel that you think uh, you might be interested in. And I can give you my honest opinions. Uh, all of them have been very solid, and I'm really interested to see what F & Grow continues to produce. I've been reviewing a lot of their fixed blade knives, so it was about time I did an EDC dump on the table and talked about some of my favorites. Again, in my mind, it's gonna really hard to be really hard to beat the EF926, this guy right here. So definitely check out all those links in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.